The Nigerian Economic Summit Group, NESG, has drawn the nation's attention to the need to set up an economic policy agenda for accelerated and sustainable economic development for the country. The NESG stated this as the first of its two-day summit themed 2023 and beyond priorities for shared prosperity. Chamo Dabeng reports. An economic policy agenda stakeholders say is imperative as the country moves into a leadership transition year. National and global leaders are deliberating on Nigeria's major economic challenges following the COVID-19 pandemic that rocked economies worldwide and plunged Nigeria's struggling economy further down. The country's economic downturn was further exacerbated by external factors like the Russia-Ukraine war and internal factors like excessive oil theft, flooding, insecurity, as well as lack of political will to strictly implement economy-changing policies. Discussions at the 28th NESG Summit, which is a partnership between the private and public sector players, brought to the forefront some of Nigeria's major challenges that have stood in the way of sustainable economic growth with the hope of finding a solution. Successful national turnaround start first with addressing basic internal problems and fixing them and then setting the country's sight on externally driven growth possibilities. We must start by achieving macroeconomic stability as this is the foundation of economic growth. One of the arguments against Nigeria's macroeconomic instability is the country's heavy dependence on oil, reducing the prospects of economic diversification. The lack of diversification has shown itself in the volatile nature of the national currency, consistent hike in inflationary pressures, poor inclusion and distribution of wealth, as well as poor external reserves. This leaves many wondering where the nation's economic priorities are and how it is addressing them. So although challenged by a shortfall in revenues, Government kept its pact by prioritizing capital funding in favor of critical ongoing infrastructure projects in power, rails, roads, agriculture, health, and education sectors. This is with a view to strengthening the Nigerian economy post COVID 19. Resources are also being mobilized with less emphasis on oil revenues. We must build on the achievements of our fintech companies and our innovators, especially in the areas of agriculture, health, education, logistics, and even manufacturing, housing also, and uh, some of all we are seeing in the development of smart power grids. The last but one priority issue I'd like to mention is improving our social safety programs. This government introduced the most comprehensive and resourced social investment program uh, in perhaps the history of our country. Some, something this program has helped to do is a bottom-up approach to economic thinking and even budgeting. As the nation transitions from one administration to another in a couple of months, stakeholders are hopeful that economic priorities would be properly aligned to enable the country make appreciable progress in that direction. Chamun Dabeng, Trust TV News, Abuja. Bandits numbering about 40 and riding on motorcycles on Sunday attacked Kwatarani village, a hunter's community in Batsari local government area of Katsina State. The attackers abducted 10 people, including women and children, and rustled an unspecified number of animals. Similarly, the terrorists dis disposed the villagers of their monies and other valuables, including clothes, jewelry, and food items. The terrorists, who according to reports have been targeting Kwatarani community over the last seven years, succeeded in launching an attack on the village when they noticed that majority of the residents went to the market.